Good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to do a walkthrough of this beautiful 23 Steiger Craft Miami 2017. Bear with me as I get on the vessel here. <clears throat> so, if you look at the transom here, we have a battery box down here. We have a charger um, as well as a battery switch. If you take a look inside here, there's a couple batteries for the vessel as well as a charger. This way, when you're at the dock, you can plug in, uh, not have any unpleasant surprises. Um, we've added on some rod holders in the transom here, cup and rod holder. Um, very large live well. If you guys are familiar with Steigercraft, they include a very, very large live well here. On the other side here, we have the wash down pump and also uh, another battery as well. If you look down here, there's two speakers. Um, let me open up this hatch here. This is the bilge area. As you can see, very clean. <clears throat> and moving up the vessel, we have a fish box with a pump. So looking up this way towards the cabin, um, if you look on top, there's a, sorry for the sunlight guys, anchor light, a Simrad radar, um, a autopilot GPS antenna, no more magnetic interference from the Precision 9s, as well as dual independent VHF antennas and a Simrad XM weather receiver. Um, moving in the cabin, if you look, the outriggers, very simple. Pull them down. Ooh. Didn't make somebody happy there. Mosquito. And you can adjust them out this way. Pull them back in. They're very easily, very easily uh, adjustable. Uh, these windows, if you guys are familiar, they open up. Um, plenty of storage. So underneath this seat here, plenty of storage. As you can see, place to put some life jackets, throwable, cutting board, um, as well as two speakers under here. Uh, if you look in the cabin, um, <clears throat> comes with plenty of space to sleep, as well as uh, this this cushion can lift up for some more storage um, underneath the cabin. I'm going to hold off on doing that. I cut my finger earlier. I don't want to get blood everywhere. Um, up forward is the anchor locker. And then here's a window for ventilation as well as these two side windows over here as well. Um, if you look up the cabin, we have the uh, circuit breaker for the windlass, uh, Simrad, AIS and VHF radio. The AIS is a really cool feature. Um, if you're out at night or at any time, you can see vessels that have AIS output. Um, you, you both transmit as well as receive. So if you're 60 miles out, uh, the big guys will see you. Um, standard VHF with DSC radio on the top. And then you have a Simrad NSS-12 and a Simrad Go 9 uh, GPS, as well as the autopilot. Here's the windless switch here. And if you look down, you'll see you have a Fusion uh, Fusion radio. So what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to actually turn, this, turn the boat on. Uh, I'm just going to show you a little bit about the, uh, the operation of uh, 
of those units. Um, while we're waiting for them to boot up, actually, let's do a walk around up here. So, cool thing is there's grab handles here as well as here. So, if you're out in rough seas, you can you got something to grab onto. Um, like I said, the, the boat comes with a windless, windless anchor, um, as well as it is pre-wired for a Rodan 84-inch uh, uh, trolling motor. So you'd simply insert the motor on a puck and down on this holder. There's a plug right here for the trolling motor. And uh, there's a plug for the trolling motor if you were to choose to get one. Very easily uh, installed. If you don't want one, uh, you know, that's why you're saving some money on the boat price. Uh, like I said before, Simrad Halo, um, radar, dual VHF, uh, brand new, I mean, outriggers were put on a couple months ago. And then uh, I forgot to mention the rocket launcher as well as the LED spreader lights. So it's coming back down this way. Um, of course, I'm not too fond of heights, so I like to hold on to the grab handles. It's kind of funny. I fly airplanes, but I don't like heights. <laughs> um, I didn't highlight the rod holders, but fuel fill is over here. Got recessed uh, uh, cleats here to tie up your lines. A rod holder here, here here as well as here so there's four five six seven eight nine ten rod holders um plus the rocket launcher you got five rod holders there for the rocket launcher and these led lights so now everything looks like it's booted up here um so here's a simrad display turn the other one on here i don't have the key so it's in it's inside so we'll just uh we'll run through with the the motor off um looking down here here's the radios typical operation and then uh so here's the uh here's my favorite part the electronics so as you can see here, here's our AIS signal. Uh, it's a good demonstration. There's actually a boat out in the ocean here. You want to get information about it, you can click on it. And it'll tell you the vessel. It'll tell you this, it's what it's doing. It's safe. That's its lat longitude. And eh, it doesn't say the accuracy is great. Speed over ground is 0.39. Course is 211. Heading is 25. Uh, it's about 1.43 nautical miles away from us so you can see there's a ton of information with the ais um you get some of it some of it with radar but uh you get more stuff with uh with ais so you guys are probably pretty familiar with the simrads you can do split screen you know if you want to see the chart you want to see radar so we'll turn the radar on real quick it's not really gonna it's not gonna help a ton because you know we're just kind of sitting i mean it's we're sitting here so now, the cool thing is um, you put this thing in harbor mode and you can zoom down. I mean, you could see uh, you could see buoys. I mean, it's incredible. I run this boat at night sometimes. Um, <laughs> you can see if you go, you know, obviously you got to go slow. You see crab pots, you see buoys. So it's an incredible, incredible thing with this radar. Um, it takes up very little energy, too. It's uh it's a newer newer type of radar you can run it with, you know as you can see i'm running it with the boat off just on battery and uh it's the halo 20 <clears throat> you can uh you know you can run this thing for a while so I, I love the i love the radar feature i love i love the electronics on this boat um unfortunately we don't have weather right now so it's gonna be tough to tough to show you guys weather let's let's uh let me just see if I can zoom out a little bit here, get some weather stuff. Yeah, there's just nothing really on the on the weather radar, so it's not very useful. Um, you guys are familiar, though. You can see uh, you can see tides. 
you know, obviously everybody pulls them up on their cell phone nowadays, but you can see the tide. Um, you know, you can see right now it's, it's, uh, you know, what time is it? It's one, one twenty-eight. It's almost low tide. Um, it pulls up the closest place based on GPS. So that's pretty cool. You know, if you're coming, uh, you're coming in from the ocean, you're like, oh my gosh, I forget what, what the tide is. Are we going to hit an outgoing on the inlet, incoming, whatever? You can pull it up, uh, pull it up on the tides. You got anchor alarm. Uh, I think you can pull up. There we go. Close vessels, you know. Um, let's see. Eh, there's not too many in our view right now, but you can pull up all the AIS vessels um, in your view. Um, you can pull up last last trip features. So the cool thing is, you know, you want to know, uh, you know, how far you went, how much fuel you burned. So let's say uh, last trip was October 2nd. I could pull that up. 10 hours, we traveled 153 miles. Um, average speed 16 knots, max 35. We used 41 gallons. Our fuel economy, and this is this is huge, is that uh, our average was 3.7 nautical miles to the gallon. So that's pretty darn good considering these fuel prices are gonna be going, uh, they're starting to go through the roof. Um, Boat also comes with, so we'll talk about the features. Like I said, it's, uh, let me just turn these electronics off real quick. Um, comes with a wash down pump. Um, live well, of course. Uh, pump, I don't know why they call it bait pump. Bait pump on the floor is the, uh, is the um, fish box. You got the bilge pump. Then you got the wiper. You know, of course, the windshield wipers and the horn. And then, uh, you know, if you look down on this side, uh, this boat actually comes. It's, it's too bad. It's, it's light out. I got some pictures on the advertisement, though. Um, it shows we have underwater lights, and the boat has uh, undergone lights as well. And then if you're pulling in somewhere, like, you know, my slip, I got it back in. Um, we come in here at nighttime. I turn these LEDs on, it, light, it lights up everything so I can see when I'm backing up. So, very handy, very handy, very very feature rich, uh, feature rich boat. So, um, thanks guys for you know view, viewing this video, I appreciate it. Um, you know, if you have any further questions, feel free to, uh, you know, click on the email or respond to the advertisement and uh, we'll see you out there in the water. Thank you very much. Have an excellent day.